Marigolds is a very important story, and we're going to focus on, first of all, how the setting reveals character. Pathetic fallacy is a literary term that you need to be aware of, and what it does is it reveals how the character's emotions um, are mirrored in the setting. Um, so pathetic means emotion, and so the setting, such as the house, um, the old woman's house, reveals her, her fate um, and her situation in society. Um, the setting in the story is described as dirty and depressing throughout the entire thing, hopeless, such as Elizabeth's situation. So often characters are not aware of how they feel, but the setting will depict it anyways. And we will see this in all of the stories and novels that we study this year. So pathetic fallacy is a very important term that you need to be aware of. Um, the setting of this story is in rural Maryland during the Depression. Um, everything in this story is dull, depressed, depressing, hopeless, dirty, um, dust everywhere, dirt roads, shanties, ramshackle homes. This is an African-American neighborhood. Um, notice the season is hot. It has to be oppressive heat. The term oppressive means to press down. Um, so it's not only hot, but it's, it's unbearably hot. This reveals um, Elizabeth's she she can't escape the situation she's in her emotions as you notice at the end of the story she explodes in her rage and her um inability to deal with her situation um she destroys the flowers um and like the heat um she explodes herself um 4 a.m. is when she um attacks the flowers. This is when she is alone in the world. Um, the quote, smoldering emotions of that summer swelled. Um, so you see the pathetic fallacy there revealed. Um, Miss Lottie's house, um, the house represents the soul of the characters. Hers is the most wretched house in the neighborhood. Wretched is a great word. Um, and her son, queer, back then meant um, strange. He is mentally ill. Um, her social standing, hers is the worst house in the neighborhood. Notice she is a single woman alone. She is a cast out um, and alone. Again, um, she is trapped in her situation, um, but she has the audacity to put those beautiful flowers in front of her um, really joke of a house. <clears throat> um, and the setting acts as an intrinsic part of the character's motivations um, for behaving as she do, as she as they do. She, Miss Lottie, does not make sense to Elizabeth. Um, she should not be creating something beautiful. And this angers um, Elizabeth and provides the motivation for her anger later. Let's jump to character. <clears throat> Elizabeth is your age, 14 going on 15. She's at that perfect age where she is no longer innocent, but she's touching her innocence and she's aware of the adultness. She's aware that things in the world are not perfect and the ugliness of the world is um, revealing itself to her. Notice um, she, the author um, uses the symbolism of a flamingo in a zoo cage. The uh, motif of a cage is repeated over and over again in, a, in the book. Um, the bars of her cage are poverty, her African-American race, and the fact that she is a young woman. Um, and she is trapped. Um, she can do nothing about her situation. Um, and she is keenly aware of this now. So she has that excitement for what is to come. However, she is suddenly aware um, 
that there is not much to come. Her situation is fairly hopeless. Um, the flamingo symbolism, a flamingo is a rare and beautiful bird. It is the most pathetic um, thing to be in a cage. Um, beautiful, they can fly, but um, it is a fantastic creature um, to be trapped in a cage. Continuing um, with the questions, what does she want? How does she attempt to get what she wants? And what has she sacrificed? Um, she wants freedom. She does not want to hear her father cry. Um, that crushes her. The father represents everything that is strong. Um, and to hear him weep pains her um, horribly. And if he does not know how to solve the situation, what is she to do? Um, she is utterly helpless. She has that childish um, misdirection of her anger. Um, so she destroys what is beautiful um, and doesn't make sense in her world. Um, wild contrition is um, guilt and hopeless guilt. Um, because of her actions, um, the old lady is her attempts to to create something beautiful and her ugly world is destroyed and because of Lisbeth's actions she has caused pain and hopelessness in the old lady um, and Lisbeth cannot repair the damage she has caused to the old lady um, and that is the lesson um, that when you hurt someone sometimes there's nothing you can do to fix it The antagonist in the story is Miss Lottie. Um, she is alone, feared, ugly, hated, or pitied. Um, the children pick on her because she is powerless and they feel strong by putting her down. Um, she is poorer than they and the weak attack the weak. Um, that is how they gain their strength. Her son is ageless in a mindless stupor. Um, the key to him in this story is he limits Miss Lottie's freedom to break away and find a better life. And so he adds to her hopelessness. And so she is even more trapped than um, Elizabeth and victimizes her even more. The central conflict of this story is between these two women um, and Elizabeth's guilt. Um, she's torn between feeling sorry for attacking Miss Lottie and feeling that she somehow had a right to attack her. Um, deep down, she feels this horrible guilt and her inability to fix the situation. Also, her pain and helplessness and confusion in hearing her father cry um, and dealing with her father's perceived weakness um, and how that shakes her world. The climax of the story is when, obviously, when Elizabeth loses control and strikes out at Miss Lottie's attempt to create beauty in their world. Um, and she, after doing so, um, she suddenly feels compassion for Miss Lottie, but her compassion is too late. The marigolds um, symbolize for Miss Lottie the attempt to create beauty in a hopeless environment. Um, for Elizabeth, they represented cruel hope of false beauty, something out of reach for her. And after she destroys them, they symbolize her beginning of a life as an adult and her ability to feel compassion. Um, 
they serve as a reminder of her past and the beginning of her adult life and her understanding of how people create beauty in despair. Elizabeth's destruction of the marigold destroyed Miss Lottie's last hope. Um, and Elizabeth defeated Miss Lottie. Um, and she learned that there are things that you do that you cannot make up for. Um, and the only way that she has carried on in this is as an adult, she too has planted marigolds as she has tried to create beauty amid ugly circumstances in her life. Um, that's all that she can do um, to carry on. So I hope that you enjoyed the story. It is a beautiful story in my opinion. Um, and thank you for listening.